Hi, I'm James Marcel, Sales Application Manager for Hyperspike Products. I'm here today to talk to you about our HS10 Portable Acoustic Handling Device. This speaker here can be your bullhorn or megaphone replacement. It comes in two different versions, a Model C, which can give you a communication range of approximately 400 meters, a Model R that can give you communication distance approximately 800 meters. The HS10 is great for, for first responders such as firefighters and police officers, crowd control for sporting events or large gatherings, as well as security officers who work for a building that have hundreds of people that work at their facility to help ensure that you can give long range, crystal clear voice communication. When you receive the HS10, it's gonna come in a hardened Pelican case, which is great for easy transportation, which allows you to carry it anywhere, ship it anywhere, and you can also hand carry it when you have to fly with it. In the transit case, you will get the speaker itself, as well as an accessory bag with all the needed accessories to demonstrate the speaker. In the accessory bag, when you open it, you'll first have a shoulder strap, which can be used to connect to the speaker for easy carrying, a microphone, the needed power cable to charge the speaker itself, and a line-in cable. After you've taken everything out of the transit case, please ensure that the volume level is all the way down. Next, you want to make sure that you have time to charge the speaker up overnight to make sure that it has its full power before your demonstration. The power charging port is located at the bottom of the speaker. You have to simply flip open and then take the charger, line it up, and put it on accordingly. There is a slight screw set in there where well, you have to screw it in and it should go on tight. Now that your unit's fully charged, remove the charging cable and then next we're going to simply hook up the microphone. The microphone on the back has a magnet. You can simply click and it should stick accordingly. When you attach the microphone, you have to line up the pins accordingly, pull out slightly, and then place it in, and then release. It should not be able to pull out. The HS10 does not come with an iPod. However, you can actually play audio tracks through the speaker with its available line-in cable through the available Hyperspike mobile application. This gives you full control of the speaker. Simply take the 3.5 millimeter audio jack, place it in, and take the other end and plug it into your accordingly smartphone device or iPod. When you're ready to demonstrate the HS10, you want to make sure that there's nobody that will be in front of the speaker. If you're going to be doing several demos during one day, it is ideal that you'll want to wear hearing protection. When you're ready to power up the speaker, please ensure that the volume level is all the way down. Hold the power button down for approximately two seconds. There'll be a green blinking light on the left. It will then turn solid. And then you will have another green light on the right that will also be solid. That means that the unit is fully powered and ready for operation. If you see different color lights on this unit, please refer to the HS10 manual, or if you have additional questions, please contact Hyperspike directly at the below number. When you're ready to demonstrate the unit, if you choose to use the microphone, it powers up already in the record, then play function. When you record the audio track, the LED on the right will turn blue. And when you're done, it will turn back to green and during that time, it'll play your audio message. You wanna make sure that you speak with authority into the microphone. You will hold the button down, and then when you're ready to play your message, release it. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. You have the ability to record an audio track for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds long that will play through it. It does not store the message, so you'll have to say your message again through the system. Testing, five, six, seven, eight. When you're done, you can simply place the microphone back on the speaker. If you choose to use the live voice functionality, you will have to change the setting on the speaker. You'll simply have to find the mode button, hit it once, the LED will turn red, and then you can speak into the speaker. All you have to do is hold down the button and then release when you're done. Check one, check one, two, three. If you wanna go back to the record then play function, simply find the mode button and hit it one more time the LED will go back to green. 
If you choose to use your smartphone device to control the unit, please ensure that the line cable is plugged in both to the speaker and to your phone. With the available Hyperspike app, you can select the audio track, play alert tone, or record a message and then play it all right there from your phone. Or you can use a corresponding iPod to play a predetermined track that you so desire. Thank you for attending today's demonstration of acoustic hailing devices. When you grab the top of the speaker, be aware that there is a red button on top. The red button plays the integrated alert tone track. You just have to push it in ever so slightly and it will play an audio track. Then release to stop. Please note, when you're powering it off an iPod or a smartphone device, that the speaker very quickly can go from no power to approximately 80% power very quickly. So if you're getting voice messages that are not coming through clearly, you either need to turn up the volume on your iPhone or on the unit.